Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode 3 of Bucket Coding Remastered. In this episode, we're going to write a healing plugin. This will let us take a look at uh, dealing with command arguments, and then also finding players on a server. I'm going to begin by setting up another project, uh, but after this, I'm just going to start the video with a project already created. For future reference, you can just copy a project that already exists and then paste it, giving it a different name, and then modify the package name in the plugin.yml as appropriate, or you can always create it from scratch. I'll go ahead and just show you one more time quickly how to do it, um, and then you should know uh, probably how to do it by now. So the name of the project, I'll call it Healer, because uh, it's a healing plugin. Um, JRE is fine. You can just choose um, use default JRE. Uh, but in this case, they're actually both the same, so it doesn't matter. Hit next, and uh, then we want to add the craft bucket jar. So add external jars. Choose craft bucket and hit finish. So now we have that all set up. We are going to need the package me.pogo.healer. Uh, and the plugin.yml, I'm just going to copy because... Excuse me, I don't really want to write it out again. It's going to take some time. Uh, but then we can just go in here and change some of the values. So we'll call this healer. The main class, it'll be me.pogo.healer. And then the main class will be called healer. The description will be a healing command. Um, and then the commands will be heal. Um, I guess we don't really need any aliases. Maybe we can just do healer. Then the description will be heal yourself or a player. And actually the command will be uh, command and then player in square brackets. So this is just saying um, that the usage you write slash the command, so slash heal or slash healer, and then you write the name of the player. And the square brackets mean that it's an optional parameter because if I use the heal command uh, and I don't specify a player, it should heal me. So I'm basically saying um, excuse me, I'm basically saying that you can specify a player to heal, or you don't need to. If I put it in diamond brackets, it would mean that you would need to specify a player. It's just a way of, you know, letting people know how to use your command. I'll go ahead and make the main class, um, which I will, of course, call healer. <clears throat> and we know that all of our plugins extend from Java plugin. Um, and then, of course, we need to implement that on command method. Now, if you don't have this memorized yet, you will after writing it enough times, but if you need to refer back to a previous project, um, then by all means, go ahead, especially in the beginning. But it is public void, public boolean, on, on command, command sender, sender, whoever sent the commands, command cmd, the command itself, the command label, which uh, just whatever the name of the command is, and then string array args, the arguments, and we're actually going to be looking at that today. Uh, of course, org.bucket.command.command, and we're just going to write return true right there, and now we can implement our logic. So this is uh, basically the setup for our plugin. It should look very similar to the Hello World plugin that we wrote, uh, but this one's actually going to be more advanced, and it's going to do something useful. So let's just write out really quickly um, a list of, you know, exactly what happens. And we don't want uh, any of that non-java.comment stuff. Okay, so what this is going to do is we're going to say if a player to heal is specified, well actually really what we need to do is uh, we need to figure out the player to be healed uh, and then heal the player. So to figure out the player to be healed, um, we would need to say if a player is specified, find them. If they are not online, send an error message. And then we'll say if the player is not online, if the sender is a player, heal the player, or heal the sender. Um, if the sender is the console, uh, then, send a, then send an error message. So essentially, again, we need to figure out, sorry, figure out the player to be healed and then heal them. 
So if a player is specified, we want to look for them. But if they're not online, then we need to say that they're not online because perhaps they mistyped the name. Uh, if they are online, then we want to heal them. If you don't specify, if you write just slash heal, uh, you know, if it's a send, if it's a player sending the command, it should heal them. But if the console is sending it, because it would make sense that the console could send heal commands to specific uh, players, but the console couldn't heal heal itself. So in that case, we want to send an error message. So um, what we'll go ahead here, what we'll go ahead and do here is we're going to use uh, the arguments in just a second. So we're going to write player target and uh, import org.pucket.entity.player and then at the very end basically we're going to set about the task of assigning the value target and then at the very end we're going to heal the target once we figure out what it is. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say um, if args.length let's uh, give it a second so we're going to say that uh, if args.length, because first of all, args is an array. So we want to say that if the length of args is zero, so if there are no arguments specified, and uh, not sender instance of player. So if, no, if there is no argument specified, and the sender of the command is not a player, then we want to send a message. And again, we know that we do chat color dot and then a specific color if we want to write in color. So we do chat color dot red, um, and then we will say here, um, you must specify a player. And we want to return true. So what that'll do, that return true right there, is it'll say stop it immediately. Because as soon as we know that we can't continue, we want to send a message and stop. So when we get to this point where the cursor is now, that means that uh, either a command, either a player has been specified or um, a player has not been specified and the sender is a player. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if args.length is zero, so at this point if args.length is zero, then we say target is equal to player sender. And we're just going to write a note, I'm going to say this is safe because we already um, made sure the sender is a player. So the code above here checks to make sure um, that the sender is in fact a player. Uh, and so if there are no arguments specified, we can safely make that cast and say that the player is trying to use the command on themselves. Uh, but otherwise, if there actually is an argument, then the first argument, or the argument in index 0, will contain the name of the player that we want to find. And we need to go ahead and say, uh, so in this case we'll say target is equal to bucket.getServer.getPlayer, and we want to use the player uh, get player that takes a string. And that's going to be equal to args 0 because uh, we checked here to see, so if the args.length is zero, then we do that, we set it to be the player uh, who sent the command, but otherwise, there must be some player specified. So arg zero, we get the first argument, which should be the player, and then we attempt to get the player. Now you'll notice that this is deprecated. Uh, in the future, it should not be deprecated anymore, um, but this is completely safe. If you're gonna be saving data um, then you don't want to save the player's name unless they change it. But when you're doing short-lived things like just looking for a player on the server, it's fine. So you can just ignore that cross out and yellow underline. So now we have the target, but target could be null at this point because perhaps you weren't able to find the player. It doesn't throw an exception, it just returns null. So we're going to say that if target is equal to null, then we want to send a message. And we want to say, of course, in red, because this is an error. Um, uh, and we'll say the, uh, we'll say cannot find player, and then args zero. So what we'll tell them exactly what they typed in, because theoretically they should just be able to look at it and say, oh, I mistyped something, or oh, that player's not online right now, and then uh, that'll all be good. And of course we want to return true, because we want the method to stop executing at this point. We want to just send the error message and be done. So at this point, after the if and else, target will have a value. It's either going to be the player that sent the command, or uh, the player that was specified in the command. And we can go ahead and say target.setHealth to be target.getMaxHealth. 
and there we go. So whatever the maximum health of the target is, because that value can change, you want to set that to be the health. So now the target will be healed. And for the record, if you want to do this with food um, and also with the air, uh, you can do that. It's just target dot, I believe it's what set food level right there. Uh, so you can go ahead and set the food level, uh, or you can set the uh, remaining air. So those are the two other things that you could do. You could write one command that heals, feeds, and uh, you know gives air to a player in just one command, uh, and that's how you would do it. Finally, we want to uh, send a message letting uh, both players know that it works. So first we're going to send a message to the sender, and we'll say, you have healed. And then we can do target.getName. So whatever the name of the target is, um, it will say, you know, so you have healed Pogostick29, or whatever it is. And then to the target, we want to send a message, and we'll say, you have been healed by sender.getName. And in this case, when you do sender.getName, it's either going to be the name of the player, or it's going to be, uh, it's going to say console. Um, so, you know, it'll say you've been healed by console, you've been healed by Pogostick29, whatever. So at this point, uh, both the sender and the receiver of the command know that it worked, and finally we return true at the very end. So that is all we need to do to get this command to work. Um, so we should have a fully functioning heal plugin. I'm going to go ahead and export this. And we want to save this, and we want to call it healer.jar. Uh, okay, so we got that saved. And now we want to go ahead and fire up the server. So let's go right in here and start up the craft bucket server. So there it goes. And then in the meantime, I'm also going to get Minecraft open. We're going to test this out in the console and also in the um, in game, so we can make sure that the command works in any sort of situation. Okay, so we have the server starting up, and we have the Minecraft launcher starting up. It looks like it found an update to the launcher, so that is why it's being a little bit slow. And there we go. So let's go ahead and get this started. Meanwhile, the server uh, did start up, and we see that there are no errors at all, uh, and it does indeed say enabling healer version 1.0, so that's definitely a good sign. Let's go ahead and join our local host server, and I'm just going to, you know, bring this in the corner so we can, whoops, sorry about that, so we can see it. Okay, good. So now let's go ahead and test out all of the different uh, use cases. So first of all, you can see that I'm at half health right now, so that's pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and test out, um, first of all, let's say that I attempt to heal myself. I'll type slash heal. And it'll say you have been healed by you have healed Pogostick29, and you have been healed by Pogostick29. Now I suppose that you could add some sort of check to say that if the uh, sender is the target, then it would only send one message. But uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to, you know, add in something like that. Uh, but let's just go ahead and take a little bit more damage. So first of all, you saw that I ran the command and I didn't specify a player, so it uh, used me myself as the target. And it did indeed give me back full health. So now I've taken uh, a little bit more damage. So let's go ahead and try specifying the player in particular, Heal Pogostick29. You'll see that the exact same thing happens there. Um, it does indeed say that you've uh, healed Pogostick29. Um, and it did indeed give me full health. So that is good. That means that it's working. And now let's just try, uh, you know, some sort of random string, and you'll see it says cannot find player GHGHG, because uh, it was unable to find the player, and I believe actually, uh, yeah, if you start typing the name of the player and you don't type out the whole thing, it will actually find the player, so I just wrote slash heal POG, and it did still find me, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, Alright, the last thing is to check from the console. Uh, so let's say that the console runs slash heal. It does say you must specify a player in red. Uh, as we discussed, uh, obviously, the console cannot heal itself. Uh, let's go ahead and try healing me. So I run that, and it says uh, you have been healed by console. And here it says you have healed Pogostick29, and you'll see that I do indeed uh, have full health. Oops, I want to make it daytime so we can see. Okay, good. So that works. 
and uh, obviously if I type in some random string it will tell me that it can't find the player and I guess I forgot to put a period in there um, so alright that is all for this plugin this plugin is fully functioning um, it is a heal command that will work uh, anywhere and I guess it would also work with a um, command block because we do have the check-in to say that if it's not a player uh, then they must specify, but we never said that it has to be a console, so it could be a command block as well. So this command will heal either the sender or a player that they specify, um, and it fully works. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you think, and if you like this video, click the like button. I'll see you guys soon with some more coding. Bye for now.